Good morning, everybody, on this Thursday, December 19th. There's a Neil behind me, and there's a John beside me, and I don't have my seatbelt on, but we're only going five minutes down the street, um, and we are going to Nick's uh, brunch, holiday brunch is what they're calling it. Woo! He wanted us all to come, so we're all coming. Uh, Neil was an if a question mark until he got his schedule, but his schedule, he doesn't work until one o'clock this afternoon. John and I specifically took off to go to this and Nicholas is very excited about it. And I got up early enough that I was able to get a foundation review started, so I'm happy about that. So my list is already, my to-do list is already Short. chugging along. No, it's, it's, it's a long list. It keeps getting longer, actually. Um, I'm trying to get the lighting to correct. Oh my gosh. I'm not hit properly. No, like you can't even see my face because of the way the lighting is. Anyway, this is an odd angle, but um, I'm an odd person. <laughs> I am an odd person, as well as the rest of my family. Anyway, this is really odd and awkward. Anyway, um, got a lot to do on the to-do list today and uh, chugging along. I've got, that is not going to work for me. Um, uh, my list actually just keeps growing. I just keep adding things to the list, which is kind of stinky, but hey, it is what it is, and that's fine. I'm just hoping that uh, we don't embarrass Nick too much, or that Neil doesn't annoy Nick too much, because when those two get together, sometimes they can get very, very annoyed at each other. So I'm gonna put the camera down. I normally uh, do the opening little thingy-majig here uh, a little bit longer, but when you can barely see anything on my face, What's the point? I mean, you can't even really see anything above my nose, right? That's what it looks like in the viewfinder. So, I'm gonna put the camera Spider down. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. She does whatever the spider can. Okay. I'm gonna put the camera down and I will check in with you guys when we come out of the brunch and let you know how it went. Well, we picked up somebody. This teacher said that he could leave because literally they're just watching videos all day apparently, like movies in all the classrooms. So, we were seeing in the chorus room and because that's where the party was and like I kept hearing Marvel music <laughs> so some classroom near the chorus room was watching a Marvel movie so anywho anywho, anywho. Um, we are going to uh, drop Neil's car off at his work Depression is um, and then we're gonna go run some errands we did run to the grocery store and got like the stuff for the turkey brine so that's one of the things that was on my to-do list we got that done we are gonna drop off Neil's car right now and then I think we're gonna go to the bank which I forgot to do that darn it what I was gonna schedule my payment but um, we're gonna go to the bank I think next and then get some lunch it's 11 o'clock or it's almost 11 o'clock um, but we're gonna drop off Neil's car and then go to the bank and get some cash because I don't remember my bank account number. I mean, I know that sounds probably terrible, but <laughs> the bank never gives you your bank account number anymore. Like when I was a kid, your bank statement every single month would come with your bank account number printed on it. Did, did you have the same thing? What? Did you get bank statements when you were a kid? Yeah. My bank statement always had my number printed on it and um, but it would only, I mean, I read things every day or glance over things every day and that not that would not necessarily equivocate or equal me remembering the bank. Yeah. Anyway, they, long story short, they don't put bank account numbers on a bank statements anymore, which is good. I mean, it protects your bank account. That's, I mean, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that I don't know my bank account number for, cause I have several bank accounts. So, um, it's, <laughs> there is a logic to it. Uh, some people would say there's no logic to it. I think John would even say there's no logic to it, but I do it as a way to try to save money. Like I have my main bank account that I pay all my bills out of, and then I have like other bank accounts that are supposed to be like savings. I don't do very good at savings. Yeah. So anyway, this bank account that I don't remember the bank account number of is one of my savings accounts where I put like $50 per pay into it in an effort to save but money. But that's the trick, that you don't know the bank account number so that in an, you know, hopefully, boom, you know. Yeah, like our, our my car payment is in that bank, so like I put every payday, enough money goes into that bank account to pay for the car, and then an additional $50. 
So it's it's not that much of a difference from what was already going in there from the car payment, which is why it's like a small savings account. But anyway, long story short, um, too late. Uh, we need to go to that bank to get right. Right. a true, true. Um, to get some of the money out because I need to pay my bill. So um, the bill comes before. What are you doing? I think it was made parking spots. It's okay. Can you not do that? Because Neil's gonna want to park right there. Oh, is he gonna pull through? Yeah. Um. So uh, the I, I'd rather you know pay off the credit card than pay interest on on the credit card and not um and then you know earn like 0.015 percent interest or something like that. So anyway, we gotta go to the bank and get the money. We're probably gonna get some lunch. And then a little, little bit later, we're gonna go to Kohl's and I'm looking through my, my checklist. Uh, spend Kohl's cash, open a couple of boxes. That can happen later on today. I got some video editing to do. We did go to the post office and get the, um, the boxes that are like flat rate shipping. So I got the boxes. I just have to fill them now. Um, so yeah, got a whole list of stuff that I still have to do, get done today, but we're moving right along. And the teacher said we could take Nick with us. So at least one thing on my list probably won't get done today, but it's fine. We've got Nick and Nick's gonna hang out with us all day and it's gonna be a good time. So I'm gonna kneel now because we dropped off the car. So anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down. We're gonna get to these these uh, to this to-do list so that we can uh, get things done. We'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, it is 1.15. I got a nickel with me. Where'd he go? There he is. Did you try your chapstick? No, I didn't try it yet. So I had $10 in Kohl's cash. One of my things to do was to redeem my Kohl's cash today, which we did. And this is what I got. Well, I only wanted to use the $10 Kohl's cash, right? So I picked up one of these. It's a wireless charging for your cell phone. We have one at home and um, we use it all the time. It doesn't work if you have a um, uh, pop socket on the back, but because my pop socket won't stick to my case to save its life, um, it, my phone will work on here. And John and Nick or John and Neil don't have pop sockets on the back of theirs anyway. Um, but we have one that I'd gotten at Target last year for five dollars, and it works really, really well. And a lot of times John will come home from work and just put his phone right down on it. And then Neil will come home and move John's phone to put his phone on it. So anyway, this was $9.99. And I had $10 in Kohl's cash. So I was just looking for something really cheap that I could pick up in addition, you know, to this, to be able to use the full Kohl's cash. And um, yeah, that's where we ended up got this for free pretty much and paid a couple of bucks for a uh, Burt's Bees chapstick for Nicholas so because he always comes to my bathroom to use the chapstick that's in my bathroom so well it's not chapstick lip balm right so he got a, a Burt's Bees lip balm um, I looked for ugly sweater ugly Christmas sweaters in here I, I didn't really see one that I liked um, so we're gonna go to Walmart to get an ugly Christmas sweater I think so I'm gonna check another thing off of my list I actually put little check boxes beside them and I can do that okay that's done and spend Kohl's cash is done I am checking them off I am four in I probably could do the foundation review check as well because I've already done the first the initial as well as the midday but I'm not gonna check that off just yet um, we measured in here John's finger um, and he actually tried on a ring that was a size 10 and I, he, I think a 10 and a half would be perfect for him but I don't know we're gonna have to talk about when we get home on whether he wants a 10 or an 11. Um, I'm not I'm probably not gonna get the giveaway winners shipped out today my if I can though my goal will be to get it all packaged or get them packaged up and then maybe just send um, Neil out tomorrow to actually mail them. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah. But my next thing on the list is the ugly Christmas sweater. Neil's at work, by the way, in case I didn't tell you that. Um, ugly Christmas sweater, and then we'll head home and maybe package up some of the giveaway winners, maybe do some unbox, film some unboxings. I don't know, we'll, we'll play it by ear. I still wanna try to wrap my nieces and nephews presents for Christmas. And like I said, it's one And start packing for our Christmas trip. We don't have to pack yet, babe. We can pack on the weekend. Um, so, yeah. 
I got four things checked off and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more to go. Yeah. Several of them will be pretty easy to check off though once um, once we get home. So I'm gonna go with the ugly Christmas sweater. Um, but then I can up unbox the keto crate and the Sephora play on back-to-back -back videos I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip product on and then picking the winners the 12 13 14 winners That's pretty easy. So yeah Moving right along with the day, but it like I said it is 120 and We're gonna run to Walmart John's in Kohl's right now He ran back in to grab something real quick and then he'll be out and we're gonna run to Walmart So how's your day going since you got out of school early, huh? Good. Are you happy? Yeah. Why are you hiding? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you I'm, go. I'm too shy for camera. You are not. You're so full of baloney, it's not even funny. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down because, and then once John gets out of here, we're gonna go look for Christmas sweaters. Well, y'all, I am moving right along on my checklist today. Let's check in on my checklist, shall we? So, I have picked all the winners, including day 15. Congratulations, Lisa. Uh, uh, film my Sephora Play unboxing. Film my Keto Crate unboxing. Um, can I just take one second real quick? Okay, so I didn't get an ugly Christmas sweater, but I got a t-shirt that said Merry Christmas. has Santa Claus on it. I spent my Kohl's cash. I paid my credit card. I went to Nick's Brunch, and I got all the ingredients for the brine. Just one second. I want to say something. I am very happy that a lot of the people who won on epic beauty fail are regular watchers and people who like bobby won and lisa won and th there's a woman named christy who won and i mean i just most of the people who won are people who actually watch me and that makes me very happy I just wanted to say that um you know i think i had out of the 15 i think i had two people who were new subscribers during the giveaway if that makes sense so i'm really happy about that i just wanted to say that right right out of the gate um because i thought i picked the last few the last four winners i think technically i was supposed to pick 15th tomorrow but i haven't gotten any comments on that video in a couple of days anyway so i was like it's fine i'll just pick it today um but the at, at pretty much all but like two people have been long time viewers of epic beauty fail hold on there's a weird setting on my phone my camera right now okay i don't know what that just did but there was a weird setting okay um <laughs> So I just had to say that I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy that people who actually watch me and, you know, like care about me and care about my channel are the people who are winning my giveaway. Unfortunately, I've realized how much it's going to cost me to send out all of this stuff. It's not going to be inexpensive. Um, just for an example, this is my day 13 giveaway, right? And I went to the, the post office and got like the flat rate shipping boxes so day 13 is a mask video this is the small size flat rate shipping box this thing is completely full i can't fit another single thing in this little box and unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to use that box because i still have like the the cream masks that went in this this giveaway those didn't fit so I'm gonna have to bump it up to a medium box or just use like this box or another box or something um, what I might do now I'm just messing it up sorry my camera angles what I might do is bring it in like my box have them tell me how much it's going to cost and if it's more than the flat rate box just flip it and put it in a flat rate box if that makes sense because the medium flat rate boxes are definitely bigger the medium flat rate boxes are I think most of the makeup stuff will actually fit in the small box this is the medium flat rate box and this is basically the size of 
like a Sephora Ulta box. Um, if you can see that there. Because these flaps fold down. But these are this is basically the same size as like one of the Ulta boxes that I have all these um, sitting in. I think it might be um, I think it might be shorter than this, but bigger around if that makes sense. So the problem is that those are way too big. Like for some of the stuff that I'm shipping, that is way too big. So but it's it's like fifteen dollars pretty much to ship a medium box versus eight dollars for a small box. So I'm just really realizing how much it's gonna cost me to ship all this stuff out, but it's fine. It's fine. Um anyway. Um I am about to well I have to order John's ring. That's my next thing I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog. And then the Keto Crate unboxing. So those will be three more that I'll have checked off. Um, I'm not going to get to shipping out the winners for the giveaway because i got to package them all up. And I'm still waiting on two addresses um, to people I just sent notice to today. So once I get those two addresses, then I will um, start to package stuff. So if I can, I'm, I'm going to start with like the makeup because there's fewer items in each of the makeup giveaways. Um, I'm gonna try to package those in the small boxes. I want, really wanted to do the masks in the small boxes, but they're just not gonna fit, so. Yeah. Anyway, it's only 4.23. I haven't even done my foundation review closeout yet. That's at 4.30, so I am going to, I think what I'm gonna do is edit yesterday's vlog and then do my foundation closeout. Um, and then I'll be another one off. And then tonight, I think if I can get the vlog edited, close out the foundation review and then edit the keto crate unboxing, I think then tonight I'm just going to focus on wrapping presents because the foundation review will be done. I think that's what I'm going to do. I will literally have gotten almost my entire to-do list done. You guys can't see that. It's not going to show up, but yeah. I might get everything except for the shipping of the um, presents out today or the prizes out today, which I'll just get them shipped on Saturday then. If I don't get them out today, I'll get them shipped on Saturday. So anyway, I just want to check in with you guys. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So I think I just checked in with you like moments ago, right? It's like 5.15. I, well, when, was it, when did I check in with you? Four o'clock? I think. I don't remember. But I am, I am just like moving right along and you guys might be like, okay, Jessica, we get it. You're getting things done today. Shush. This is boring. I'm sorry. I'm very happy that things are getting done. I just wrapped up my foundation review. I did, um, yesterday's vlog is edited. It's processing right now. Uh, I ordered John's ring and I don't have that much left on my to-do list. Dinner, we gotta eat dinner at some point, I guess. Um, but pretty much if, um, foundation review, check. I don't know if that's gonna show now that the lighting is different, but I have more checks than not checks. Um, yeah. Of the things that I have left, and I, oh, while I was gone, I did end up packaging up a couple of the items. Almost all of the makeup giveaways fit into a small box, so that's good. Um, I haven't tried to do any of the bigger ones yet because that all that skincare stuff is a lot bigger and yeah so that is gonna have to wait for another day there's sh the shipping I, well obviously it's 5 15 the post office is closed but um that's gonna all have to wait for another day i did just film the close off for my foundation review i am going to move that footage over so that's good i am caught up or i'm actually ahead on my foundation reviews which is again not normal for me right now so i have tomorrow's video already uploading and i have the next two weeks already filmed so that's good um the i have to edit the keto crate box which is next on my to-do well it's 5 15 so we'll probably get some dinner 
Um, I'm probably just gonna have my normal lunch for dinner. So a quesadilla probably. I don't even know that I'll have a salad because I did have salad at lunchtime. So I'll probably have my quesadilla for dinner because I'm not like super hungry either. So I might have quesadilla and maybe a uh, yogurt. So we'll see. Um, and then I'm gonna get Keto Crate unboxing edited and then I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the night wrapping presents. The only other stuff I need to do is submit my fence request. I have to submit that yet. Uh, register for a program that like my township is doing my the townships in Pennsylvania they do like little things and this thing is a father or mother son barbecue thing where we go to uh, one of the golf courses in the area yes golf courses plural there's a lot of golf courses we had a lot of farms several of them turned into golf courses anyway it, we go to one of the golf courses in the area and you get dinner and you get to play bingo so it's like mom and son it's it's like a bonding thing um, and this is the, I didn't even know about it before. And apparently they've been doing it for like 20 something years, but this is the last year that Nick can do it. It's only up until sixth grade. So, um, I'm going to try to register for that tonight too. And then, uh, um, yeah, wrap presents, edit the keto crate box, submit the fence request, which will probably wait until this weekend, register for that program, which I'll probably get done tonight. I was going to look at Westchester university for Neil that I'm probably gonna work on tonight as well. And then the shipping out of the of the winners for the giveaways. So the only two things that I'm not gonna get done tonight is the fence request and the shipping out the winner, the winners, the prizes. So I will have done almost my entire list. I'm really proud of that. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down. I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna listen to a, a YouTube video while I'm taking my makeup off. And then I think I'm gonna go eat some dinner and I might bring Nail some dinner, I'm not sure. He asked if we were going out to bring him something. He said if we're not going out, we don't have to, but he's a mile away, so I love my kid. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I will see you guys later. All right, y'all, so I haven't spoken to you in a while. Like, I, I think the last couple of times I talked to you, it was like really close, but it is just about 10 o'clock right now. See what I mean about my rings? The diamond does the same thing on this hand. It always, you can see it's to the side, it always, like, I'll be walking around like this, and it'll be on the inside. Anyhow, I'm sad my day's over. It's almost 10 o'clock. I'm sitting here with Wens. Buttercup just got walked, so she was she was in here a little bit ago, and then they, like, drug her out of here because she did not want to get out of the bed. But they took her out to walk her, and then Neil should be home in about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. Um, anyway... It's just about 10 o'clock. Let's check in on my to-do list, shall we? I ended up adding something to my to-do list that we didn't expect. Um, Neil wanted some food. He was asking us to bring him dinner, which we ended up bringing him a frozen meal. And Nicholas stayed home. But John and I went to the grocery store because I was like, I want yogurt. Because Neil and I have been hitting the yogurt pretty hard. So we went to the grocery store. We got some yogurt. Excuse me. Um, and then we ended up spending $100 at the grocery store because you can't just go for one thing, right? But we got like lunch meat and we got yogurt and we got, and the yogurt's kind of expensive. Um, like $15 of the dinner, of the bill was the yogurt. Um, but we got lunch meat and John got some bone broth. He wanted to, to try another bone broth. We got a bone broth in the keto box and he had never had bone broth before. And I had recommended it to him a couple of times. He's like, no, 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 I'm, I don't want to try it, blah, blah, blah. So he got one in the keto box and he loved it. And he's like, I got to get more of that. That stuff let me sleep so well. So we did pick up a thing of bone broth. We bought a couple of jars of Rayo's soup that John wanted to try. He's going to try it. It's um, Italian wedding and a pasta fajoule. So he's got a couple of things of soup because he likes soup. I'm not a soup person. I never have been but he likes soup. Um, so we got a couple of soups. What else did we get? Oh, I found some breakfast sandwiches from Real Good Foods, um, which were new in the grocery store. I've seen them online, like other YouTubers have had them. I have not seen them before, so I was excited to see those. Um, and just, I think that was like the, the most expensive thing. Like not, it was like $9 for a box of four, which is kind of expensive because it's like a little over $2 per sandwich. 
so it's more expensive than say like a McDonald's dollar sandwich but in the grand scheme of things it's not super expensive for a breakfast as long as you're eating just like one sandwich um anyway I am so diverting myself we went to the grocery store that's the long story short we went to the grocery store so we went to the grocery store we got back I edited the keto crate unboxing and believe it or not I am currently editing today's vlog I am bad on the ball I haven't edited the same day's vlog in like forever anyway so my to-do list and so this is what I've gotten done um I actually looked at Westchester already for Neil so let me check that off so this is where we're at can you see how many are checked versus unchecked that's a big difference right there so what I did not get done register for the program which I did try to do by the way and I actually have the website open somewhere on here um, I don't know which web which tab it went to there it is I came to the website I brought it up I got to the registration page and it says we're sorry but internet registration is not allowed for this activity so I have to call them to register so I try to do that um, all right so there's four things that I don't have done wrap presents which I didn't even get started so that's gonna be like my entire weekend <sighs> I shouldn't say that so we're not going to my dad's on Sunday Saturday night we are going to my friend's house I'm thinking about Saturday during the day going to see my mom but we'll see because that's a four hour round trip just to I tried it to I tried to do like a trip to Trader Joe's and State College because my mom's buried not far from State College um, so I try to do like a trip to State College when I go to visit my mom um, so I don't I don't know or a trip to Pittsburgh because my mom is between me and Pittsburgh and we were going to go to Pittsburgh over Christmas instead of Baltimore but it didn't the hotel and stuff it just we didn't find one that worked out and anyway I don't know what I'm going to get out there I would like to get out there at some point to see her during the holidays but um I don't know when that's going to happen so we might do it Saturday we might not because <sighs> I have off work Tuesday which is good but I need to get the turkey and the brine on Sunday. I need to do the jello salad, but I'm probably not going to make that until Monday night, I think. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll make the jello salad Sunday night. I don't know we'll see but what I was getting at was is that Sunday I'm not I don't have anything going on Sunday well I shouldn't say that my we're going to brunch with my mother-in-law just like Nick John and I and my mother-in-law are going to brunch and then we're going to see the movie cats because she wants to see cats and no one will see it with her so we agreed to go with her anyway so Sunday might be like a wrap presents and prep for Christmas kind of day. We're not making any desserts except for cookies. I'm going to be making peanut butter ch chocolate chip cookies. No flourless peanut butter cookies. That's not that difficult. I've made them several times now. So I might make those um, on Sunday as well and my jello salad on Sunday. But Sunday might be a little bit early for the jello salad. So we will see. Um, but Sunday's probably going to be my wrap presents day. So I did not register for the program, which I have to call them to do that. I did not ship out the winners of the giveaways, and I did not submit the fence request. What I did get done, purchased the brine ingredients, so I've been to the grocery store twice today. Nick Brunch, paid the credit card, spent the Kohl's cash, I bought a Christmas t-shirt, I did not get an ugly sweater. I might get an ugly sweater after, after Christmas when they're all on sale. Um, I filmed the unboxing of the Keto Crate and the Sephora Play Bag. I picked all the rest of my winners. I edited yesterday's vlog. 
I ordered John's ring, I did a foundation review, I edited my Keto Crate unboxing, and I looked at Westchester University for Neil. So I got a lot done today. That was a lot of talking just to say I got a lot done today. Anyway, I can only imagine that this vlog is like a million years long, so sorry about that. But tomorrow I am heading into the office because um, I need to figure out where my new employee is sitting. My new employee is starting Monday and then Tuesday the, the office is closed. So he's going to be there for one day and then Tuesday's closed, Wednesday's closed. He'll be working Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday by himself with no one else. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Yeah. Anyway, um, what else? So I'm going to the office tomorrow. Um, I have my doctor's appointment in the morning to talk to her about my diabetes management, my antidepressant, making sure that everything's going okay. So I got that appointment in the morning and then I'm going into the office and then I'm coming home because at lunchtime because Nicholas has a half day. So he'll be home at like 12, 15, 12, 30. Um, and I'll work the rest of the day at home tomorrow. And then... Yeah, that's Saturday, so I gotta make myself another to-do list for the weekend. I'm gonna try to, I got a couple of videos I wanna film for next week for, for uh, Epic Beauty Fail. I need to film a what I ate in a day. I might film that tomorrow or I might film that Saturday, I'm not sure. Um, but for next week, I'm going to edit my Sephora play box. I think I'm gonna film my 800 subscriber giveaway which I think I'm gonna, I am might post my 800 subscriber giveaway on Christmas. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah. Uh, I have those, that to film, but um, I also need to film my get ready with me using my beauty box makeup. So maybe that'll go up on Christmas and I'll wait to do my 800 subscriber giveaway on New Year's Day that might be the best idea. I think that might be what I do. So I think what I might do film on Saturday is if I don't go see my mom is my get ready with me using my beauty box makeup. And then I'll just wear that to like my friend's party Saturday night, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. I don't know. I gotta make myself a little little list. I gotta make myself a list. That's what I gotta do. So, anyway, today I am thankful that I got so much done today. I am thankful. I wish I would have gotten presents wrapped, but I didn't. But I am so thankful that I got so much done today. I am so thankful that John and I had the day off together. I'm so thankful that we got to spend the day with Nicholas and half the day with Neil. It was just all in all a good day, and I'm so thankful for that. So. That's gonna wrap up my vlog for the day. I'm gonna edit a little bit of it. If I don't get it done before bed, that's okay. Cause it's gonna be a long one. This is a long one. Sorry guys. I was very vloggy today, but anyway. I hope today was better than yesterday. And I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.